cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. Florida law requires car dealers to provide titles to buyers within 30 days of a purchase. But our four-month-long Better Call Bank investigation into Carvana has found them consistently failing to do so, leaving some unable to legally drive their cars. Dozens of these fed-up buyers knew they'd better call banking. These customers tell me this is beyond ridiculous. They not only want answers from Carvana, but they want to know where state watchdogs are and why Florida laws aren't being enforced. I loved it. It's pretty. Um, it drove really well. It had all the safety features I wanted. Um, Trisha really Bailey, important. a paramedic, bought this Nissan Sentra from Carvana in March. Great little car. But she can no longer legally drive it. Just sits here. That's because eight months later, Carvana still hasn't forked over the title so she can register the car in her name. I said, hey, I still don't have my tag. And they said, yeah, there's a discrepancy with the title. We haven't been able to get the title. After two Florida temp tags and one from Arizona, the last tag expired November 9th. And Trisha tells me Carvana says it can't legally issue more. They know that you have a car that you can't drive. What does Carvana say? They just keep saying, sorry, there's nothing we could do. Uh, that's not how the car business works not in Florida where state law requires a dealer to issue title within 30 days yet for four months customer after customer after customer has turned to better call banking for answers about why Carvana sold them cars without titles the dealer won't answer my questions but ended up buying many of those cars back that doesn't set well with Trisha who now has to get a rental car. I think if you're going to have a business that you should know how to run it, and especially a car business, people have to have tags, there's state laws, you need to follow it or you need to not do business. One thing is clear, Carvana, known for its flashy vending machines, doesn't have business in order. And not just in Florida. North Carolina suspended Carvana's license for six months in one county. Michigan issued a probation and complaints are piling up in Texas, Ohio and Georgia. Trisha wants to know why state regulators in Florida aren't doing more to help buyers like her. I did call the state. Um, I didn't even have to mention who I was calling about. They said, oh, it must be Carvana. I said, yep. Yeah. And they said, let me send you to compliance. I left a couple of messages with compliance and I haven't heard anything back. Do you feel like the state is responding to you the way they should be responding to you? Um, I think they've just kind of blown it off like Carvana has. I asked for interviews from the head of Florida's Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles and from Carvana, and neither has stepped forward. Upset customers are, though. And just today, one customer tells me Carvana sent yet another temporary tag, but the VIN on that one is for another car, so she still can't drive it. And another customer says he drives for Uber, and now he can't drive for work. It seems like a meltdown of responsibility uh, from Carvana and the fact that it's happening in other states. And yet you see the commercials. The commercials are great. And yeah. yet these people have the problem. And, Stock and prices are great, too. Yeah, and they're calling the state. Mm -hmm. But what else can a customer do? To get their voice heard. Well, customers do need to get their voices heard. You need to complain. You need to complain to the state, first to state regulators. I have the link that, for that in my story online. I've also reached out to the Florida Attorney General's office on this because I'm not hearing back from state regulators. That office says they have more than a dozen complaints about Carvana, specifically with title issues, and they want to hear from customers too. So also reach out to the Florida AG. All right. Thank you, Shannon. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. The telephone number right there, 1-855-BANKIN. Or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.